welcome to your St. John Narana midweek message for this week. We are entering the next petition in the Lord's Prayer in our series on Confirmation Review. Today's section is Your Kingdom Come, Your Will Be Done. I'm putting these two together because they really are the same thing. For God's will to be done is for the realm of God to be realized and to be seen and enacted. When God's will is done, the kingdom of God, the rule of God, is established and it is observed. We pray that God's will be done because God is the one who wills good for all. God is the creator who produced this beautiful world and who loves each one of us as the beloved parent, as we covered in the first petition. If the world is to be run properly, correctly, in an optimum way, it will be in line with the will of the one who created it. It will be done in a way that God's will is done. And when God's will is done, the kingdom of God, the rule of God, the wishes of God for the good of us and for all creation is indeed done. This one's a nice simple one. Now here's where I think it gets really interesting. Because the next petition flows right out of that. On earth as it is in heaven. If God's will is done on earth the way it is in the realm of God, then earth is brought right. And where is heaven? Heaven is in our hearts when God dwells within us. And God dwells everywhere. So this gets complicated. We are praying that God's will be done in the visible world, in the world of politics, the world of sports, the world of human relationships, the world of all creation, in line with the way that it is done in our hearts. This is all predicated on the fact that God is the loving parent, the one who knows what is good, what is best, and who always wills the best for God's creation and for God's creatures. And it is also predicated on God's will being done in us as we live in God. As we experience the indwelling of God, our hearts are brought in line with the will of God and we become obedient. We live in such a way that God's holiness is declared by our every action. And this brings about the recognition of the holiness of God and the implementation of God's will in our lives. And that comes out into the world. We live in a world that has sin, that has parts of it in conflict with the good will of God. And we are praying that those places be changed, be shifted, be brought in line with God's will so that we might see the heaven of God's good intention and God's good creation made manifest in the world. So next week, we move on to the next section.